It happens when you don't get a haircut after four weeks. Welcome back, Digital Media Workshop. I hope our spring break was safe and restful for all. I know things have been crazy over the past four weeks of shelter at home. I appreciate all of those that have been doing work through Google Classroom during this time. I hope it has brought a bit of a routine and distraction to you while staying at home. Your brain is a muscle and giving it a bit of training each week helps to keep it sharp. Doing art is also a proven therapy. Not to mention being a creative problem solver is needed during this new and trying time. I myself have been impressed with the creative problem solving of businesses who have adjusted and found new and old ways to keep serving their customers. Also, the amount of people online as well as here in Milwaukee that have been setting teddy bears in their windows for children to find on walks, or who have made and donated masks to healthcare workers, or have made a thank you sign or hung lights for sanitation, police, and emergency care workers as they drive by has reminded me of why I stayed in this city after college. MPS has been working on providing food and learning materials to as many of its students as it can during this time. As some of you may have followed, MPS is sending out its second round of enrichment packets for students to work on. Those can be picked up at any of the 20 food stops MPS has set up throughout the city. They have also established a Chromebook pickup dates for students who may need a laptop or internet while they learn from home so they can stay connected. MPS has also begun sorting out graduation, grades, and credits for high school students. With Dr. Posley's Thursday updates last week, we were told that the previous grading window is being extended through this month so teachers can enter or edit grades based on evidence assigned prior to the school closing. This being said, it seems at a minimum MPS wants to secure up third quarter grades at this time while they establish the new online learning moving forward. Also, IB is still moving forward with its DP exams this month. If you have not been contacted by your DP teacher yet and still want to take your IB college exams for credit, please reach out to Mr. Gatewood or your subject teachers. MPS has also established that this week after break is a virtual spirit week. We want to see your spirit. Post your photos and videos using the hashtag MPS Spirit Week and MPS Proud to any of your social media posts or send videos to comm at milwaukee.k12.wi.us. Be sure to include your name in school. And if you haven't seen Mr. Kelly's amazing math videos yet, ask for your friends to share them with you. The daily themes are Monday, show us your talent. Post pictures or a video as you play an instrument, read poetry, sing, perform an athletic skill, display your artwork, or share your talent. Tuesday, keep on moving. Show us how you are staying active. Post pictures while walking, doing yoga, working out, or playing a game or a sport. Wednesday, what are you reading? Post a picture or selfie reading your favorite book. Thursday, share kindness. Share some caring or inspiring words or a kind act to support family, friends, teachers, school staff, or essential workers. Friday, show your school spirit. Post photos wearing your school's colors or clothing. I hope to see some of your King Pride on display this week. Lastly, I want to discuss wrapping up Unit 3 with you. This week, you are asked to finish up your comparative study research paper. You are also asked to begin your project proposal based on your research and chosen artists. Remember, your project proposal will not be a completed piece of artwork. I understand you do not have art supplies at home. What you do have is a brain, creativity, pencil and paper, and access to a camera and Google Classroom, most of which are on your cell phones. Later this week, I will post a formal project proposal. This will consist of the unit reflection as normal, but will have points on the Google Doc where you will be asked to place your sketches and reference photos to walk me through what you learned and what you would plan on doing if we return to the classroom studio before the end of the semester. This will be a combination of your process journal research, sketches, and unit reflection. This is not necessarily new content to you, just a new and creative way to learn and produce work while on quarantine. Please check your unit calendars this week to manage your time. Also, watch Google Classroom for a post for these final pieces of evidence for Unit 3. Before I go, I want to let you know that with the grading window being extended, I will be finishing up your Unit 2 grades and getting them into Infinite Campus over the next two weeks. These grades will be for the evidence given and due prior to March 13th. This obviously will exclude your Unit 2 piece of art, as they were due on Monday, March 16th. Some of these pieces of evidence have been recorded in Google Classroom, but not in Infinite Campus yet. 
Please check there to see if you have completed and turned in these Unit 2 assignments. Alright, that's it for now. That was a bit much as is. Thanks for watching all the way through to the end. Stay creative, stay spirited, and stay healthy, Generals.